hello youtube welcome back to my channel how is everybody doing today here we have a cute little um kawaii valentine's day nails i know today is valentine's day actually um so if you hear a bit of noise in the background i'm gonna be packing some orders as i am doing this voiceover especially because i said and i told y'all i was going oops to post um this video today so i have to get it done for you guys and i can't lag and lie again well not lie but i can't be promising you guys something and my ass don't do it i've just been so busy at the salon i'm going crazy Whew. and i have a lot to do a lot to do today i legitimately um <clears throat> canceled appointments today because i'm just feeling out of it you guys like i've been going through some stupid stuff in my business but what can we do about it nothing just keep working till it gets fixed <laughs> so yeah you guys yeah 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 <clears throat> Here I'm applying my nail forms. Go get you some. Don't forget. They're amazing. I love my nail forms. I've been using them so much. Just because I love how easy it is to double up. Um, you know, because I don't... Whenever I use nail forms, not a lot of clients get super, super long nails. I think the most they get is the length of the nail form. And then I only have one client that... One or two clients that I'll need to double up for. So I was like, I'm gonna use my long, like, like purchase long nail forms and waste them on medium length nails, to be honest. Unless they're about to use the whole length, then it'll be worth it. Oops, already fucked up. But hopefully you guys can hear me because I have my phone literally propped up on top of a fruit cup <laughs> while i'm trying to work on this order right here um guess what you guys i'm so over usps you know i've been hearing other little small businesses complain about usps and trust me you know i know they have a lot of work you know but to mishandle someone's package is a fucking nightmare because I already have one client, well not client, one customer that ordered for me. So far, I'm just glad that has been the only one. But that has received an open package. Like, you know, she sent a picture and I can tell it has been opened and mishandled by USPS. Because they put diff um, uh, some weird labeling on it. I know how I send my packages, you guys. I package everything like there's really nobody helping me package anything I literally know exactly um, what and how I put stuff in there so for people to like for the USPS people to do that shit I have a feeling whoever opened that package must have known what nail stuff is because they stole from that package, the monomer, a powder, and some glitter. So the bitch that took it knows what the fuck that was. I'm like, I'm just, what the hell, you know? So now, um, we gotta fix that issue, you know? I did file a complaint because it's not fair to you guys, you know? I mean, it's it has only happened so far to one person, you guys. Um, the rest that i owe some stuff is two people i owe stuff to two people because i had um shaped and pinched their brushes that they ordered and i don't know why i left them on my table oh, so now i have to resend them i mean they're willing to pay for shipping but that was my mistake so i don't want them to pay any more money so i'm gonna pay that out of pocket and send them their items but so far everything in the online store has been amazing i did have a package get returned um 
because I guess the person used someone else's credit card. The person canceled the order right away. And I was like, oh, girl, are you serious? <laughs> so at least the package was returned back to me and not actually sent to that person. I guess um, as soon as they seen the transaction, the person instantly just was like, I didn't order this shit. <laughs> It was, you know, it was a little bit embarrassing because the girl did contact me about her package not having arrived. And then I had to message her back saying, oh, there was a um, fraud, whatever, um, reported and they charged it back. So I don't know how they got the package to be able to be sent back to me. I really don't know how they did that. Um but they were like no i did not order anything so we fixed that package was actually returned a month later so i was just really shocked like people don't do that don't 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 mess up somebody else's money and it's crazy because if if she was um how can i explain it Basically, she didn't really fight or argue with me about the the package being sent back or anything. So I'm like, you must have felt guilty, girl. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna judge her, you know. But I was just like, wow. You know, like what happened? <laughs> but it's none of my business what people do with their lives. So Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's a few things that happened so far um, with the online store. Um, no lie, I feel like I have a lot of honest, you know, people purchasing for me, and I don't want to fail anyone. So I'm so, but I'm the type that, even though you guys, <clears throat> I have posted that I'm not responsible for USPS damages and stuff. Um, I do want to say that there's there's been certain things that I actually have resent over to people, but there has to be a really, really good reason for me. And also understand that monomers should not be sent out in um, first class mail because first class mail is always in a poly mailer. <clears throat> so understand i try to bag it up and everything but you need to understand like if it's in a package and they put something heavy on top of your package maybe it may leak because of the pressure on top of the package or whatever so those are the things i won't be held responsible for because i do have a before you buy section ladies so from you know like i'm new to this stuff right i'm new oops i just dropped my damn orders my my little packing slips I mean and <clears throat> you know there's certain things I've just learned from um so oh, this has all my fingerprints on it they're gonna steal my identity <laughs> um how can I say this so basically I just found out to be honest I didn't research packaging stuff or anything like that or how to package stuff but i just found out that we're not actually allowed to send monomer um through first class it has to be ground so that means if you're from um somewhere far like let's say another look you guys i know i get asked a lot if if i ship out of the continent if the um the website allows you to i mean i can send it over but it's gonna be really expensive like super expensive i already had to cancel two orders that were going to cat no not canada i think they were going to the uk and it was like 57 dollars to send their package i had to cancel because I don't know how this person was able to purchase and only pay like four dollars for the 
for the shipping or whatever. So I was just like, um, I can't. No, I still need more money to send her package. So I couldn't send her package. I feel kind of bad, but I mean, that's <clears throat> it's something that I'm still learning when it comes to packaging out of the continent. So so far, I feel like I'm not gonna do that for now because this shipping rates to ship out of the US are crazy. She had already she had ordered a box of no C curve tips and then, um and some scissors and uh what else did she order? I think it was just tip scissors and some bling gel and some bondini. And when I seen um that she was only she had only paid basically whatever the website asked her to pay but then when i went through the whole process to package it weigh it and start adding the dimensions and all that stuff on the on the order it said 57 dollars in some sense so i was like oh i can't that's too much she only paid me four or five dollars or eight dollars like no eight dollars for her order but obviously it's not her fault you guys it's not her fault you know so i have to change so for anybody from now on from basically today on anyone ordering monomer will be subjected to pay ground i mean um your order will be changed to ground because it's almost the same price as um first class but honestly, ground is literally <clears throat> um, five to seven business days. So, you know, I'm just learning this, you guys. I should have done my research. That's what I get, though. Because I've always been the person to just throw myself in certain situations. And then my dumbass ends up paying for it. Shit. But I think that's not just me. I think a lot of people do that. You know, I like to sacrifice. I like to, you know, do shit spontaneously. Don't know why. So, this package has... Okay. Oh, I packaged the wrong tips. Okay, see? That's why I shouldn't be packing orders while I'm talking to you guys. Because she ordered the long tips. got him i got him oops i'm dropping everything over here trying to run because why am i trying to run you guys why why am i in a rush oh yeah because there's i just want to finish these orders drop them off and get to cleaning my little online store area because i have things everywhere like I legit have things everywhere. I have packing slips, um, not packing slips, but I have stickers everywhere. They need to be or organized in their bins. I have the tape rolls everywhere also. I have, oops, wait, let me. Okay, I'm just stamping this order because it's done. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait, what was the name? What was the name? Okay. But how do you guys like this cute little set? It reminds me, it gives me a kawaii um, feel to them. I kind of wanted to add like pink bows but i didn't have any more so i was like this would have looked so cute with some kawaii like charms but i ran out of oh well i didn't run out of it but i just didn't have a specific paint that i wanted to use we even almost wanted to add a gummy bear but this one was too short for me to be adding a damn gummy bear on them so I'm going to leave these two large orders for last because I have to heat press a hoodie. Alyssa Wolf, she has been ordering me from the start. 
is she just has this name that you will remember <laughs> so yeah i have to party her order so i have these two large orders that i'm gonna do to the end because they're big and these other orders are actually small so i'm doing all the small ones first because i got a lot of things that are one thing like one item two items so all the rest of the orders are one item two items and then those other two orders are huge so i need to get all the small ones out the way then i ordered me <coughs> this label printer for small um a small label printer because i wanna i need to label all of my nail tip bags you know i think you'll be much cuter much cuter I mean, the ones I have are cute, but not that cute. At least for me. And then she got a bandini. I literally, the one of my main sellers, like my number, number one sellers is bandini nail glue. Um... Bandini nail glue is kind of hard to find in retail stores to be honest. I there used to be this small little um hair salon slash like hair product that had little nail stuff here and there. Um and I, that's where I used to buy my bandini. But then I don't know where they closed, and I bet you it's because of COVID. No lie, you guys, COVID has fucked up a lot of things for people. And it made me open my eyes that I need to start having money saved for these things because if not, I'm going to be on the streets. I'm going to be on the streets, to be honest. Okay, so let's talk about what I'm doing with this nail set. Um, the nude I have here is um, cover pink. No, cover cool pink. Obviously, everybody knows Cover Cool Pink. Everybody loves Cover Cool Pink. But we added pink glitter. Yeah, I added pink glitter, some pink um, shards. I added also, what else did I add? Oh, I think it was just like pink, fine pink glitter. Oh, and pink, um, oh my God. Let, let me start over. <laughs> so I use Cover Cool Pink. And I added pink glitter, like fine glitter, and then um, silver holographic fine glitter and some shards. The shards that reflect pink. So, yeah, that's what I added. That was all I added, you guys. That You should see how it looks in person. It looks so beautiful. So, literally, I, I use my Cover Cool Pink on everyone and if i want to change the tone or the shade i just add a little bit of um some other type of acrylic like if you want to make it more brown you get a little bit of brown but just lightly start low and slow you know and then um if i want to make it more pink then i add some pink that's how you're able to um change the or shift the tone of it So cover cool pink is very very versatile to change up and change this, this color, you know. That's why I like it. Like if I want to make it more of a um, tan color, I just add orange in it. Like but a little bit, you guys. You have to be careful because you may make it. You can make it too orange, or you if you want to make it even more cool or more of a pinky cool. I mean like a mauve color you can a little purple a little bit of gray but understand that depending on the quality of the pigment you're using um that's if it's gonna separate or not sometimes it doesn't usually the chisel colors don't separate like that only the black the black um pigmented acrylic that one you have to mix it with clear if not it won't dry but even if you mix it with clear, it stays super, super black. 
So I feel like it has more pigment pigment than it has powder because when you open the jar, it literally looks like a black hole. Like you it's so dark, beautiful. <laughs> okay, there's more. I need another box for this. But yeah, again. Oh, and then I think I'm using not polish acrylic. I forgot the color, the name of the color that I used. I will link it down below. Oops. I don't even remember what I did on these now. I recorded the filing, you guys. Mm -mm. So I'm over here measuring the length of these. I really, I think I shaped the shit out of these nails when I was applying the acrylic because filing was super super fast in my head I was like why am I still filing this thumb when it was basically almost perfect I just needed to smooth it out to be honest so I was just like oh see it was already perfect and you ended up messing something up right here <laughs> but yeah these nails I feel like I shaped them like on um, point that i felt like i could have just gotten away by filing the edges and the sides and buffing it and it would have been fine and then here i'm use i'll use my number 12 kalinsky brush um sold out of those brushes once i sell out of all the brushes i'm gonna say it one more time i'm not bringing them back to the rebranding and I know a lot of people are asking me for the rebranding and what is this going to be the difference. Basically, the name is going to be different. The logo is going to stay the same because I paid a lot of money for it. And we're going to start having colored acrylics. So I'm glad that the trademark takes 6 to 12 months to process and get approved. So in the meantime, I can just test products out to be honest so bear with me on this rebranding it's gonna take six to twelve months and you know once it gets approved i'm gonna start ordering stuff and designing stuff and how i want things to be i still want to keep the red honestly i want to have a unisex um line because you know men purchase from my online store i have i don't know if maybe the girls are using their boyfriend's cards or something but i've seen a lot of male oh excuse me a lot of male customers so i know i know oh my gosh oh my gosh i left these nails so shaped even when i was blending the cuticle area i was like oh this is going by super fast and then the speed on my um this bit right now is i think at four or five rpms is not that so if i touch her skin she shouldn't feel nothing <laughs> okay this order is just one thing i need to get this done 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 super fast because guess what i want to do you guys I don't know if I'm going to do it. To be honest, I just need to measure my wall first before I do anything today. Hopefully, it doesn't take me forever. Hopefully, I'm a handyman. You know, like, I trust my handyman skills. Um, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to, how to build a temporary wall. <laughs> so, <laughs> when I, once I finish this order... I'm gonna measure I'm gonna measure because also you guys I have a I have a Honda CRV so I wonder if these wood panels are gonna fit in my car why do I keep putting the number two right there why do I keep doing that I'm filling up some tip boxes you guys and I keep putting the number two in the number one slot because I'm over here trying to chit chat with y'all but yeah, so I want to do a temporary wall. I don't want it to be screwed onto the walls or anything like that. So I I'm going to add a table to it at the bottom, like at least half of a table. Just um, so it can have support and it won't fall or tip over. Um, so, 
wish me luck i'm not gonna record this maybe i'll record pieces of it here on tiktok or whatever but i'm not sure i don't think i am because i'm gonna be frustrated if things don't go right so and then i seen that they have um a wood saw for 50 dollars right now so i'm like perfect perfect because i'm tired of asking these men to do anything for me mm -hmm. either i gotta pay somebody or what the hell but you know what daddy ain't raised no fool so i'm finna so this fool go, <laughs> go to home depot in a minute but before i go i want to package these orders so i got i think i got five orders left i have 10 orders in total i'm already behind and guess what <laughs> don't be mad at me i have two customers i ordered a week and a half or two ago and i got in my car this morning and the packages were in the back seat they're gonna kill me oh my god they're gonna kill me they're gonna kill me they're gonna kill me oh my gosh i thought i dropped them off i really thought i dropped them off so now i'm gonna switch them to priority avoid the old um the old uh, the old shipping label and do priority if i have time if i don't i'm just gonna send them the packages like that and if they email me, you know, like that they're unhappy or whatever, well, I'm going to correct it. And what can I do? What can I do, to be honest? You know, like I did post an alert on the website that, you know, like I've been getting more packages. It looks like I'm getting like six packages a week now. And I'm shocked, you know, because it start well, starting the year off, I'm getting like more pack more orders a week because before i used to go maybe a week or two with no orders and then i don't know where orders from going going left and right and then no orders for a while and then i don't know where these past two two three weeks i've been getting like six orders weekly they're not big orders you guys they're like $20 orders, $30 orders, $15 orders, like really small orders. So, you know, but you know, it's still, I'm still thankful for them. Say so, yeah. Thank you for, for um, supporting my online store. So the only thing that's been stressing me out, you guys, is people, um, I've already had a few people asking for the bling lamp and the nail drill and <laughs> i'm not restocking those you guys till the new rebrand or i don't know if i should do like a back order thing where if three or four people order a la um i'll be able to because you know if you order one drill it's gonna cost me what i'm supposed to sell it for because of the shipping just to ship one item and that's weird to me it's cheaper when you buy more to be honest so that's why I'm like, should I just wait? I think I really want to just wait for the rebrand to bring those items back. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I kind of want to get the drill blinged out. Even though it's going to cost a bit more to bling it out. Because it's like that's like a, a custom thing. You know, like my nail lamps were a custom thing also. Because I specifically wanted red blinged out. A red blinged out lamp. You see, it looks so nice in my nail table. And then <clears throat> I purchased a new nail table. Gosh. Yeah, I purchased a new nail table. And I'm so excited to get the new table. It has a glass top. No, it's not Valentino. I'm selling my Valentino tables. I don't want them anymore. I'm just, mm, mm. you know, I'm doing the Fuchi face right now. I'm like, mm. so yeah, I'm just not, nah, no, no, no. I just don't want them no more. My thighs don't fit underneath that mug. So, that, oh shit. Yeah, my thighs don't fit under that damn table. And I either have to go too low, and that gets my arms tired 
the hell? My arms be tired as hell every time I I have to lower the damn table. Where did I leave the stickers at? You see? This is why I need to clean you guys because I have everything everywhere. But yeah, you guys, I'm out. I need to finish and be concentrated on these nail order nail orders <laughs> on these mail what oh, my God. on these online orders i gotta go i gotta go oh, i gotta go hope you guys like this video you guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe um any questions you know just ask them down below i answer you know whenever i can it's funny every time i have time to answer it's like a dumb freaking comment that i have to delete at the end because i'm like i'm not even gonna give it no damn attention because some people just like to be mean damn the internet all right i gotta go let me do this you see why i gotta clean i just dropped some shit <sighs> okay i'm out Go like my video. What? Okay. I gotta go. I'm tripping. I don't even know how to talk. Bye. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Deuces. Bye.
tears, ups and downs. I swear it's been the best ride of my life. Look at where we are now, baby. Only blue skies ahead. And it wasn't all bad, baby. Look at where we began. Make it out in my room. Nobody had a clue. Sneaking out past curfew. We were only 17. Didn't say I love you. But we knew it was true. To this day, I still do. Love you like I'm 17. Time went by. Oh, so fast. Back then, we didn't know this love would last. been mine it wasn't easy 